नेक्स्ट वील लर्न हाउ टू सेव अ डॉक्यूमेंट ओके आफ्टर एंटरिंग अ टेक्स्ट इन टू योर डॉक्यूमेंट आफ्टर मेकिंग सम काइंड ऑफ चेंजेस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यूज और रीड दैट पर्टिकुलर फाइल लेटर ओके इन अ फ्यूचर देन वी नीड टू सेव दैट पर्टिकुलर डॉक्यूमेंट राइट सो सेविंग दैट डॉक्यूमेंट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप दैट इज टू बी एग्जीक्यूटेड राइट आफ्टर द एडिशन ऑफ द सम कंटेन यून योर डॉक्यूमेंट सो दिस इज डन टू प्रिवेंट द लॉस ऑफ द डेटा दैट माइट अकर बिकॉज ऑफ पावर कट्स और सम काइंड ऑफ सिस्टम फेल्यूर सो देर आर मल्टीपल वेज प्रोवाइडेड बाय द एम एस वर्ड दट इज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वर्ड टू सेव अ फाइल और अ डॉक्यूमेंट विथ और विदाउट अ नेम स्पेसिफाइड बाय द यूजर सो वील सी हाउ टू सेव द डॉक्यूमेंट मेथड वन इज सेविंग अ फाइल विद द फाइल मेन्यू so to save a document by using the options which are provided by the microsoft word in its file menu just go through the uh, given steps like step 1 is just click on the file menu we just have to click on the file menu then after that we have to go to the save option or the save as option okay so there are two options for saving the document after that we need to select the location so where we want to Uh, save our file so we just need to find out that location we just need to browse it then next we have to provide a name to our file okay so or we can just use the default one that will be provided by the microsoft word after providing the name we just need to click on the save button so our document will get save next method is by using the shortcut keys on your computer okay so the uh, second method that is a microsoft word allows us to use the shortcut keys in case we don't want to go through the process of clicking on file menu and then selecting the save that is a kind of a lengthy process so instead of that we can just use the shortcut keys so there are some steps given like the first of all we we can use the option that is control plus s to save the text in your document so to enter the save as menu after the creation of the new file next step 2 we just have to follow these previous steps that means after uh, saving that uh, using the option save or save as we have to find out the location okay where we want to save that particular file then we have to give name to that file then after then our file will be saved in our computer next is how to open an existing document if we have already created any document later on we want to open it okay if we want to make some changes in that we want to add, do some formatting into the text of that particular document so we can uh, just how to open that particular document we just need to uh, go to the home tab and then click the open uh, option then we have to select this pc option then we have to select the browse okay so that browse will allows you to find out the location where you have uh, stored your file the open dialog box will appear then locate and select your document then click just open okay so from the given list of the uh, folders we can select where we have uh, stored or saved our file so based on that we can just select that particular folder into that we can select the file and then we just need to click the open so our document will get open next we'll explore how to format the document so formatting the document that is the appearance of the document that means we are making some changes into the text we can uh, change the uh, size of the text we can change the color we can highlight a particular text so it is the uh, the formatting will consist of the shape changing the shape the size uh, then style typeface general arrangement of the text in the document so formatted text can we draw the readers attention to specific parts of the document and emphasize the important information so you just highlight what is important in that particular document instead of reading the whole document so in in word you have just several options for adjusting the uh, text including the font the size the color we can also adjust the alignment of the text to change how it is displayed on the page we can just justify the text in our document so the uh, 
procedure is for just uh, modifying the uh, text in your document we just need to select the text that we want to change we want to modify okay in the uh, figure you can see in the image given we can see that is the for rent this text is selected okay that i want to modify so on the home tab we just need to click the font size drop down arrow you can see in the image that's and then we have to select a font size from that menu if the font size we want uh, we need it is not available in the menu we can click the font size box and type the desired size we want to uh, put for our uh, text then we just need to press the enter then the font size will get reflected in our document then font size will be changed in your document we can see as we have changed the font size the uh, font is uh, seems bigger in the next picture okay then we can also use the grow font and shrink font commands to change the font size okay uh, we can see the bigger and smaller a is there just below the design tab that are nothing but the grow font and the shrink font options or the commands that are used to change the font size of the text to change the font by default the font of each and uh, each and every new document of the um, word is the calibri it is said to be calibri so however word provides many other fonts we can use to customize this text we just need to select the text that we want to modify in the image you can see that forend is selected so open the home tab from that home tab we just need to click the drop down arrow that is just next to the font box the menu of the font style will appear so we just have to select the font style that we want to apply on your text okay there are many uh, font styles are available any one of them we can use for our text the font style will be changed in the document after selecting any one of the font style that we want to apply for our document next is to change the font color to select the text that we want to modify we just need to follow the same procedure that is go to the home tab then font color uh, drop down arrow we have to select then we have to uh, use the font color menu that will appear then we just need to choose the color that we want to use for our text okay after selecting a particular uh, color that will be reflected in your content then color choices are not limited to the drop down menu that appear so we can also select more colors option at the bottom of the menu to the access the colors dialog box so choose the color we want and then we just need to click the okay then that color will be get reflected to your content next is to use the bold italic and underline commands which are basically used to uh, give uh, provide the formatting to that particular text in your document so that will uh, gain the attention of the reader so the bold italic and underline commands can be used to help draw attention to the important words or phrases in your document we just need to select the text that we want to modify for uh, performing this bold italic and underline commands so on the home tab we just need to click the bold if we want to uh, make our text bold if we want to make it italics or we want to underline the text so according to that we need to select the options okay from the font group in our ribbon so in our example we have selected the bold option okay so that will just uh, make the text bold then next we'll explore how to change the text case of your content so when we need to quickly change the text case we can use the change case command instead of deleting and retyping the text okay so whatever the text you have inserted in your document so if we want to make changes into the case of that particular uh, text so that will be performed with the help of this change case command so on the home tab we can find the change case command in again the font group a drop down menu will appear so we just need to select the desired case option from that menu 
नेक्स्ट इज टू हाईलाइट द टेक्स्ट सो फॉर हाईलाइटिंग कैन बी बेसिकली यूज फुल फॉर मार्किंग द इम्पॉर्टेंट टेक्स्ट इन योर डॉक्यूमेंट सो फ्रॉम द होम टैप वी जस्ट नीड टू क्लिक द टेक्स्ट हाईलाइट कलर एंड ड्रॉप डाउन एरो and the highlight color menu will appear so from that we can choose the color that we want to use for highlighting our text so after selecting that that will be reflected in our document text so the desired highlight color if you are selected so the selected text will then be highlighted in the document so in in the given image you can see there is a double click cell b okay this text is highlighted with a yellow color this is the result of the highlighting the text next if we want to remove that highlighting so we need to select the highlighted text which we have highlighted earlier so then just uh, click the text highlight color drop down arrow and from that we need to select no color option from that drop down menu so it will revert back the highlighted uh, results from your content next is how to change the text alignment if we have added the text in your document we want to change its alignment on the center or if we want to move it to the right or left so that we can perform with the help of this text alignment options so by default the word aligns to the left margin in a new documents so if there may be uh, sometimes when we uh, want to adjust this text alignment to the center or right so for that we can use this text alignment option so we uh, have just need to select the text that we want to modify that we want to align after selecting that text we need to go to the home tab then select one of the four alignment options from the paragraph group in our example we have select that we have selected the center alignment so our text will be aligned in the center of our document okay so in the resulting image you can see the changes that our text is realigned at the center 